In this video, I want to show you guys the best Android emulators that you can use on your Windows PC. I've used many Android emulators in the past. To this date, I still use some Android emulators here and there, and I only have the best ones, or at least I can say the ones that I think are the best. I have tried almost all the Android emulators out there. So now let me show you guys the ones that I think are the best. But first, we need to clear one thing out. There is this Android emulator called Bluestacks. If you use Android emulators, I'm pretty sure you have heard about this Android emulator. This is the most popular Android emulator. If you're a gamer, I think this is probably the best Android emulator that you can get because it has the key mapping presets for almost all the games, okay? Even if it's not that popular. Personally, I don't actually use this Android emulator because it is just bloated. It comes with many services which runs in background and I don't really like that. Instead of Bluestacks, what I actually use is MSI App Player. This thing is a partnership between MSI and Bluestacks and this version of Bluestack is actually cleaner. Let me actually show you guys here what I mean. So this is the MSI app player. This looks almost like the Bluestacks. Again, as I said, this is basically a Bluestacks, but less background services compared to Bluestacks. If you install the, you know, regular Bluestacks, there will be a bunch of services installed and you know, it will run on background and all that. That is the only reason why I don't like Bluestacks. But again, as I said, Bluestacks is a good Android emulator if you do gaming and all that, because it has the presets. So I just use the MSI app player whenever I need to use Bluestacks, because this thing actually has all the features of Bluestacks. It has the key mapping presets for almost all the games and it just works okay now there is one thing new about bluestack which happened just recently now bluestack supports android 13. sadly msi app player doesn't have that yet it will probably get this too in future but right now if you want to try the android 13 you have to try the bluestacks again as i said bluestacks is a good android emulator just because it has the presets for gaming and it actually performs really well and it's it's good but again the only reason i don't like bluestacks because of the background services because of those background services it uses more resources compared to other android emulators now if you're looking for a best overall android emulator i recommend you guys the mumu player this is actually my favorite android emulator this runs on android 12 and it is now also available for macOS actually. And this thing is actually a really good Android emulator. It has full Android interface, all the settings and everything. Uh, unlike uh, Bluestacks, yeah, there is one thing about Bluestacks is that you won't find most of the Android settings. A lot of the settings are, are removed from the Bluestacks, but this one has all the settings, just like you see on the phones, okay? So that's, one thing and another thing, it actually doesn't have a lot of background processes. Just in my opinion, compared to Bluestacks, it performs a lot better. Even if you're a gamer, yeah, this is also a good Android emulator. The only thing you'll miss if you already use Bluestacks is that you won't find key maps for the games, most games. Uh, like, for example, I have this game, Modern Ops. You can see this game doesn't have key mapping because this Android emulator doesn't provide any key mapping presets. You'll have to do it manually, which can take some time. You'll have to play some games and while you're gaming, you'll have to set up the key mapping and all that. You can do that by clicking on this keyboard icon at the top and you can click on create new plan. And after that, you can do the key mapping, you know, all that. Okay, I don't think I need to teach you guys this. You, can, you guys can do it. But let me actually show you guys on Bluestacks. If I open the same game on Bluestacks, you'll see that it already has key mappings set up for this game, even though it's not that popular game. You'll find key mappings for almost all the games. Uh, wow, is that how they advertise now? Wow, advertising it's going to the next level on Bluestacks, you can see that it already has key maps available. I'll have to go into the match. You can see, okay? WASD is mapped uh, to throw the grenade. There is two. I can use my mouse to like scope and all that. And I think it's F1 to use my mouse by default. Look at that. I don't have to do anything. 
Again, as I said, this game isn't even that popular. I'm controlling this game fully by using my mouse and keyboard. Okay, I don't have to touch anything. So this is, again, as I said, Bluestacks, one of the best thing, okay? It has key maps for almost all the games. So if you're a hardcore gamer, you play a lot of games, download a lot of games, I think Bluestacks is better for you. But again, as I said, there is an option. If you want better version of Bluestacks, go for the MSI app player. But if you prefer to do a key mapping by yourself and you want a cleaner Android experience with less ads or literally like almost no ads, then Moomoo Player is actually good. Just for the gaming side, yeah, you'll have to do the key mapping manually, which can be time consuming plus frustrating. It depends on what type of game you're playing and all that. This is like my favorite Android emulator, actually. Now, the next Android emulator is straight from the Google. It is called Google Play Games. It's actually the only official Android emulator for PC. And this is a great Android emulator if you wanna play games on your PC, the Android games on your PC. But if you wanna install apps or APKs, yeah, you can't do that in here. You can only play games. This is made for gaming. And there are actually really popular games available here, like Clash of Clans, Clash Royale, Free Fire, you can see here, even the Mobile Legends, Bang Bang is here, Without Survival. I'm pretty sure you have seen one of these games before. And one more thing about this Android emulator is that not all Android games are available in here. Only the games that are optimized to play on a PC using Google Play games are available here. You can say a couple hundred thousands games are here out of millions. Okay, <laughs> so only selected Android games can be played in this. And it's actually slowly growing and the experience is also good, actually better than the uh, actual Android emulator. It feels like you're playing a actual PC game. It has its own dedicated window. Like this is actually really good Android emulator. So let me actually show you guys if you wanna play games. But again, as I said, not all games are here, but the games that you play, if they are here, yeah, this is a great Android emulator. It has better gaming experience, you can say that. You can go full screen. There is a volume control for just for this game. You can also do the key mapping if game supports it. So yeah, this is just a small demo game that I'm showing you guys. I can, I can go full screen just like that. And look at that, it, it looks like a PC game. Okay, so I can click on cast. This is a simple game. Just to give you guys a demo, I'm just running this. You got the idea. This basically gives you the best gaming experience if you wanna play Android games on your PC. So if you're a hardcore gamer, yeah, you can go for the Google Play games for PC and Bluestacks. Better if you use MSI App Player because that's less bloated. If you wanna have a better Android experience, go for the Momo Player 12. It also works really well with the Android apps, plus also with the games. The only thing is that key mapping presets aren't available there. Now, the final Android emulator that I can recommend you guys is called Windows Subsystem for Android. Unfortunately, Microsoft is ending support for this. They are no longer working on this. Uh, I don't know why, maybe people didn't like it because it came with the uh, Amazon App Store, which doesn't have much games and apps, but there was a way to install Google Play Stores. And uh, this is a GitHub page called WSA Builds. Here you can basically find Windows Subsystem for Android with Google Play Store, and they're still being maintained here on the GitHub. This is actually a really good Android emulator if you wanna have a better, the best Android experience. You wanna play games or not gonna say games actually, if you wanna play a complex games which requires a lot of controls, then it doesn't have a key mapping thingy, which basically means you can't really play games that much. But if you're into like Android apps, it can be the best Android emulator to run Android apps on a PC because it will have its own dedicated window just like 
Google Play games. You can open multiple apps at the same time. It feels like you're running Windows apps, not the Android apps. And that's it for this one. Hope you enjoyed it. But if you still have any questions or have any suggestions for me, you can always do the comment and we can have some chit chat in the comment section too. And let me know your favorite Android emulator, which Android emulator do you use and why and all that. But in my opinion, these are the best Android emulators that you can use on your PC. Yeah, that's it. I'll see you next one. Take care of yourself and have fun. Bye-bye.